Guys, in this video, I wanted to take a few minutes to show you a little bit about some of the reporting options that you have within Johnson Controls Medicis MUI. This is a tool that I use very regularly. Some, you know, when we get questioned about uh, various control systems and things like that, this is something that you can use to very easily and quickly throw together some information uh, for a report. Now, basically what I'm going to do, just as an example, I've got a equipment summary up in front of us here. And suppose I wanted to compare the occupancy, the occupied period of a VAV to the zone temperature. Now, the way that I can do that is I can simply click on the occupied command. And you can see this would be as if I was going to change the state of it. If I was going to override it occupied or unoccupied or whatever, which we're not going to be doing that. Okay. What we're going to be doing is clicking this little icon right here. And what this does is it takes us directly into the custom trend window. Okay, now that I have that brought up, what I can do, I can actually select a date range. I can go back the last seven days, 30 days, last year, all time, or even select a custom range, depending on how you have your trends being captured within your system. If I select seven days, you can see here for the last week, it will give me the values for occupied and unoccupied periods of this space. Okay, now I can take this a step further. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this window out. I'm not only going to uh, click the occupied, I'm going to go over here to my zone temperature because again, if we're comparing our, occup our occupied state to our zone temperature, we're going to need to know what that zone temperature is. And you can see it's a little cool in there right now. You know, no big deal. And of course, there we are. We can see our zone temperature trend. And I also have a box here where I can select the last two trends. Whenever you click on one of those trends, it's going to populate it in this list. And I believe it will go up to about 10, if I remember correctly. And from that, you can build a custom report or whatever you need. You can see here we have that trend data captured. So I can go in here and go back for the last week. Unfortunately, this zone temperature is not going to go back that far, as you can see here. Okay, but there again, the way that this is on temp trend is set up, this is, I'm not surprised by that. But it can be used as one of many ways to build a lot of custom reporting within your system. Okay, I can go down to, uh, say, a central chiller plant. I can go to my overviews panel and the same process, even straight from a graphic. I can simply pull up a graphic of one of our systems, and once it populates, what I can do here, I can actually go in and trend some additional information. I can go in here. We have our temperature here, our supply temperature. I click on that, and you can see it gives me that option. I can pull that up and pull my trend data for that very thing. Of course, I can close this back out and I can grab whatever other point I may need. You know, if I need the total percent of plant capacity, I can click into this and it will bring my window up as well. I then will click that trend icon. I will then select the temperature and the total plant capacity, hit apply. And of course, I can then select however far back I want to go. You know, and for this example, I will throw up just the last seven days and you can kind of see a comparison of the plant capacity and the temperature for this building. There's a lot more that you can use some of this reporting for. You know, if I get into the specifics, I can go into my advanced search and reporting. And there are a lot of pre-built reports for us within the system. Okay, if I click on reports, I have basic and then saved reports. The base reports here are a, an option of alarms. I can select offline, disabled, operator overrides, supervisory overrides, and so on from this list here. If I wanted to generate a quick alarm report, I can simply highlight that and select whether I want to search specific devices or the entire site. I will caution you if you select some of these reports for the entire site, it may take just a bit before it populates everything. But for us, you can see here that it did populate everything very fast. Now you can uh, give, you can sort this, you can link directly into 
the areas by clicking on the space here as you can see here it's going to tell me that I'm going to be navigating away which that's fine I can click right into the there and it will bring up my view for that particular device okay and I can see the issue in this case we have a thermostat that is offline but that reporting is something that is very useful very handy and very easy to do once you get started with it uh, there again you can go into the uh, alarm reporting or the uh, advanced search and reporting search save reports and things like that you set your search criteria and all of that kind of thing. Now I want to show you another example as well and what we're going to do if I wanted to pull up a uh, basically an overview of a building if I wanted to pull up something and actually get all of the zone temperatures or something like that if I needed to build one for an entire floor or group of floors or just whatever from the equipment summary section of your screen i can pull in the advanced search and reporting and what it will do is it will filter down to this specific set of uh, equipment okay i'm going to go in here advanced search and reporting and it will filter a lot of this for me go ahead and get a lot of it set up for me and it's going to pull for a moment it's going to just basically grab all of the points within those boxes and what I want to do is just go up to filter, pull it back up, and this option here, I do not want to hit this little X here. I want to click over here slightly to my drop down, and I can select zone temp. Once I select zone temp, I can leave that just as it is. I can select if I want to keep this floor or whatever. I can add additional floors and things like that and I'm going to hit search and basically what we're doing is we're searching by the equipment object and you can see here on this list I now have all of the zone temps pulled into this one thing and from here I can select a group of them or just whatever I wanted to do and I can build a report or just whatever I need from this I can select all of them I can actually download this entire page if necessary where it will list all of these in an Excel spreadsheet or PDF just whatever I need it to do okay if I go back up to filter and this is another big thing about reporting I can go back into here I can turn this off and for example if I wanted to zero out all of my warmer coolers I can highlight that and I'm going to hit search and the warmer coolers on this if I needed to make a change a global change I can use that as well and just by clicking here going into actions bulk command or, and actually command those to where they would all change to whatever value that I needed okay I can take those out of service or whatever if this was something depending on the point that you use if I was using an override if I was using just any kind of point that I needed I can set a timed override or whatever and when you hit once you hit next as you can see it will go all the way through and apply that change to each one of these points the global reporting is a very useful tool it is a very handy tool you can build reports in here and have them to automatically email various people you can have them to uh, save reports to a particular network location there's a lot that you can do with this so advanced search and reporting it's a very useful tool that i wanted to take some time to show you but guys this is just a quick video that i wanted to do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you have any questions love to hear from you thanks for watching check out all the videos on my channel be sure to subscribe uh, check out the links down in the description below and we'll see you next time